Welcome to TechyJack. In this video, we will see how to install a webmin on Ubuntu server. First of all, let's see what is webmin. Webmin is a web-based system administrator control panel for Linux and Unix systems and it exposes a GUI in your browser for common admin tasks such as like user management, package update, checking the service status, DNS, MySQL, firewall, etc. So you don't always have to edit the config files or remember the command syntax. And it's a great for demos, quick server setups and for viewers who prefer a visual admin console. It can speed up the common admin tasks like user creation, disk quotas, service restarts. It is really good for the beginners who want a GUI for the server management. For server management, we have a webmin and same way we have a user min for the user management user min is a user level web interface that allows non-root users to perform the everyday tasks related to their own accounts such as like changing the password reading and sending the email managing their ssh keys and file uploads etc so let's go to the server and see how we can install the web min and the user min on ubuntu server so right now I am on to a Ubuntu server and the IP is 192.168.20.100. So first of all, let's try to update and upgrade the system. So I will run this command like sudo apt update and upgrade and I will put the password and the system is upgrading. So it is done now. Let me clear the screen now. And now we will install the dependencies. These are required to download and add the webmin repository securely. So I will run this command and it's getting installed. So it is done. So now I will download and run the official webmin setup script and I will make it executable and run it with the sudo. Asking for the prompt, I will type Y for yes. So now uh, you can see it's downloading the webmin developer's key installing it, setting up the webmin release repository, downloading the metadata and this is the command we can use to install the webmin and usermin. So I will run this command. It says the permission denied. Let me put the sudo there and then I will run the same command and now you can see it is asking for the prompt. Yes for continue and now it is installing it. So it is done. Let's now start the service for the webmin and I will type this command sudo systemctl start webmin and let's check the status for the webmin service. So I will just say status and you can see the status is active running and it is also enabled on the startup. Also if you have a firewall there you have to allow the port 10,000 because webmin listen on HTTPS 10,000 port by default and in our case the firewall is not enabled so it is fine in our case but if you have the firewall you have to allow the port. Let me check the IP address again it's 192.168.20.100 let's go to the computer and try to log in. So right now I am on a Windows machine and if I try to ping the 20.100 we can ping it. Let me go to the Chrome browser and try to open the 20.100 with the 10,000 port. This is the one. Now you can see we have a prompt for the login. So let me try to log in with the user Jack and I will put the password for the user and you can see we are logged into our webmin panel. So if you see here we can see the recent login and we are logged in with the user Jack. We have the network interface. This is our IP address. We have a disk usage. So this is the overview of your system. And from here you can configure it like the webmin. You can back up the configuration file. You can do the webmin configuration. We have a system. We have all these things here. Uh, we can configure these things from here. We have a server for the SSH server. We have a tools for like file manager, terminal. We have a networking for bandwidth monitoring, network configuration, hardware for the RAID system, cluster and unused modules. So we will check with these things in the future videos. In this video just we are focused on the installation and same way this is the web main, same way you can log in with the user main as well. 
if I go to the another incognito window, 20,000 is the port for that user main. So if I log in with the user main, here I have the interface for the user main. So if I go to this user main, you can see the user option like we can change the language, themes, we have tools for file manager, disk quota, terminal, we have the mail here, login like change the password, two-factor authentication, and here we have the application, account information, here we have the mail options like inbox and draft and these are the related to the mails. In the user main you will see this interface and with the web main you will see the administrator interface. So this way you can install the web main and the user main on your Ubuntu server. I hope the video was informative. Let's meet in the next video. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy this video and want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell icon to get notified whenever I post new content.